Guys, I told you. I told you the defeat against West Brom just was a blip. It was just a bad day in the office. And I told you we're going to bounce back. And we are officially back, baby. We are back and we are here to stay. This is the place that we belong. We belong in the Champions League quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. It's only the first leg. Anything can still happen in the second leg. You never know. It's football. But I am very confident that we are going to qualify for the semifinals. And Real Madrid, here we come. Right now, forget about the position on the table. We have to go game by game. The next game is the most important. And the table position is going to take care of itself. Please watch my sofa vlog. Sofa vlog is a show that I always record before the game, during the game and after the game to give you my real feeling in real time. No filters. guys it's oogs welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another edition of sofa vlog sofa vlog from the us but i'm taking you to spain seville where the blues are going to play against porto at sevilla stadium this is going to be a hell of a game two veterans and legends of the game pepe against Thiago Silva. Malang Sarr playing against his parent club, Chelsea Football Club. It's gonna be an audition for him. If he wanna come back next season and start for the Blues, this is your time, Malang Sarr. This is your time. I'm not telling you to score any goal today, but just perform to the highest level so we can judge you. The lineup just came out and surprise surprise haha <laughs> are you really surprised about thomas tuchel's lineup i'm not because i know he can change all the time mendy in goal aspiriqueta christensen rudiger james Jorginho, kova chilwell mount harvard verna Sabs, kepa arisabalaga caballero tiago silva zuma Alonso, Emerson, Kante, Kalium Hasunadoi, Hakim Ziyech, Pulisic, Giroud, and Abraham. Hmm, it's not what I was expecting, but I said in my preview that this is exactly what Thomas Tuchel was going to do. So let's just trust the manager, trust the process. He knows exactly what he's doing. He sees those players every single day in training but he need to win though because if he doesn't win it today people are going to ask questions about why and why not the first half i feel like i don't have even to say anything i can just get uh, my video from few years ago and it's gonna be exactly the same thing right he has nothing to do with the manager Nothing to do with Thomas Tuchel, Frank Lampard or Mauricio Sarri. It just has to do with uh, the Chelsea thing, right? We dominate, we create, but we don't score. The timing in the box is always very late. We are brain dead in the final third. I'm not going to repeat myself. It's a Chelsea thing. And when the opposition got the ball, we panic and you feel like something is going to happen they are going to do something with the ball but when we got the ball everybody knows that we can't do anything with the ball in the first 25 minutes no clear chances for chelsea football club but porto had some clear chances one of them went off target and other ones were almost goals like 50 percent goals mendy saved us few times by coming off his line catching the ball or punching the ball to release the pressure 
and let me mention our midfield so far 30 minutes in and our midfield looks like uh, babies you know what i mean and uh, i don't want to say anything because it's gonna look like you have an agenda so i am going to wait until the end of the the game they might improve why not and guess what as i was preparing to shoot on Jorginho and Kovacic a beautiful assist from Jorginho Frelo to shut my mouth <laughs> that uh, all it takes sometimes you just need an assist and a goal and everybody is going to forget your horror show so Jorginho was like shut up Oggs just watch me on TV from your couch let me do my thing on the field he got an assist yes he wasn't that good physically and all that but hey you won't take that away from him right so first half we are very very lucky not to concede goals thank you edward mendy edward mendy was immense my man of the match in the first half let's hope that thomas tuchel is going to make some adjustment to see this game out it doesn't look good at all The second half, we started just where we left in the first half, which is Chelsea dominating, having possession and all that, but no end product. Should I really even make this kind of videos anymore? I mean, I feel like I don't even have to say anything but go just straight to the point. Porto had chances here and there, and you could feel that uh, we could have conceded any time. But when we have the ball, same old Chelsea. We don't do anything with the ball. And Timo Werner. Haha. <laughs> I don't want to say anything because it's always an agenda. You know, people forget that uh, I was the first in the community to promote, you know, and push the agenda about Timo Werner. But when you miss those kind of chances, my brother, we have to tell the truth. Aspiliqueta missed few chances here and there. My goodness, everybody in the final third looks like uh, comedians. Anyways, 65 minutes, Pulisic and Olivier Giroud came on for Werner and Kai Havert. And 80 minutes, Silva came on for Rhys James. 80 second minute, N'Golo Kante came on for Manson Mount. I think... Thomas Tuchel just realized that it's going to be a very, very tough game and he needed just to close the shop. This is the way I see this kind of changes. 85 minutes. Ben Shewell, Chile, showed Timo Werner and Kai Havert how to score a damn goal. What a goal. He dribbled past everybody and scored in an empty net. Wow, Chile. What are you gonna say now? Okay, because I heard, you know, about 50 million and blah blah blah. Frank Lampard made a mistake and blah 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 blah. What are you gonna say now? 50 million been paid off. 23 years old, he can still improve and we can still have him for the next 10 years. What are you gonna say about it? Ben Shewell, congratulations, my brother. The last change was uh, Emerson Palmieri for. Kovacic but it didn't happen you know everybody was expecting um, Emerson to score but maybe next time 2-0 at the end I said it in my preview that we were going to win 2-0 and we did it you have to trust me with your money now haha <laughs> anyways Real Madrid get ready because we are coming for you go you blues Please don't forget to leave a like. If you don't like this video, something is wrong with you. If you are not happy about Chelsea winning away 2-0, brother, you need some help. If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe. If you really like the video, make sure you subscribe. And turn on your notification. And turn on your notification. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here. What you waiting for? Subscribe now. Uh,